hello guys today we will learn about model prediction and model evolution using different types of classifiers uh, such as SVM, random forest logistic regression native bias and KNN we will uh, input all the models and we also evaluate the model prediction means which model is based uh, for our data set we will do that so before we start we need to input our data set here you can see that i have a data set which contains customer satisfaction and high variables of service quality tangibility reliability accessibility and empathy and you can also uh, see the data structure using a uh, data table you can see that uh, i have a uh, customer satisfaction data in uh, yes and or no in categorical variable which is uh, our uh, target variable also so now we will build our model before we do that we will split our data set into two parts using a data sampler here you can see that you can uh, split your data set into two parts and now uh, you can see that i have uh, 500 sample data and uh, if I split our data set into training and testing uh, in 75%, then you can see that uh, 375 uh, respondents will be in the training data set and remaining 125 data will be in the testing data set. So you can, uh, it, uh, you can uh, decrease or increase your training or testing data. Uh, respondents just uh, slide on this and it will be working on that so in this case uh, i will split our data set into 75 percent and 25 percent now now uh, i can see the predictions So, uh, predictions we will be uh, done using our uh, remaining data set. You can see that here yeah, nothing is there. So, we need to input uh, models to predict our uh, data. To do that, we will first uh, input our models. Just click on model and you can click on anything here uh first we will build logistic regression okay now if we see that there nothing is there so we need to input our data here you can see that data sample data means our training data and we used the remaining data as the testing data for the predictions now you can see that our model is predicted you can see that uh, they are our model uh, prediction accuracy is uh, nearly 88.8 percent .8 and precision is 78.9 percent and uh, this is the curve value and uh, which is uh, 66.8 percent and uh, if the value of AUC uh, is near to the 100 then we can uh, say that our model is uh, quite good and healthy and uh, there is no overfitting issue so we can see uh, the 
model prediction errors using a uh, confusion matrix here you can see that only uh, four four respondents that are uh, mislead uh, or uh, misclassified from our model and uh, we can see those misclassified uh, respondents using data table now you can see that here five uh, variables are high variables values are high means uh, they are satisfied with that uh, tangibility is quite good uh, reliability uh, and uh, accessibility empathy all the variables are quite uh, good but the customers are not satisfied uh, maybe uh, there are many other factors uh, the customers need uh, to do that or uh, they maybe uh, maybe there are uh, marketing man or uh, there are any other factors which influences uh, in the customer satisfactions so uh, this only uh, 14 uh, respondents that are uh, misclassified uh, among 150 uh, respondents and you can see that uh, this is uh, if i change the proportion of the predicted you can see that uh, only 11.2 percent uh, data are uh, misclassified in our model now we will be uh, we will input uh, another model uh, to so uh, the accuracy now uh, just click on uh, logistic we, we we built a logistic regression now we will use another classification uh, like a uh, random forest uh, and if we do that we can see that our prediction is uh, quite 89.6% uh, and uh, the AUC value uh, become decreased and uh, our model precision uh, becomes near 90 percent and uh, you can see uh, the confusion matrix uh, the prediction uh, misclassification error uh, reduced uh, it uh, uh, reduced to 10.5 percent and you can see that there are 13 misclassified uh, respondents you can uh, see the respondents here from here now uh, we will build uh, we will input uh, another model uh, like uh, svm uh, from where we will see uh, the predictions now uh, you can see that uh, here are also uh, 13 uh, respondents are misclassified I means uh, it it is uh, near about a random forest uh, it is uh, near about uh, same to the random forest and uh, uh, svm and logistic regression is quite low performance in uh, in this uh, data set so in this way uh, we can input uh, another uh, data also uh, like a uh, neural network uh, if we uh, input a uh, neural network uh, then we can see that uh, our prediction also uh, remains 13 percent and uh, we can see that our uh, model accuracy is 89.6 percent so in this way we can uh, build uh, we can build our model and predict uh, the customer satisfaction which customer will be satisfied or not so here you can see that our model accuracy is uh, quite good and uh, it is uh, high for the neural network 89.6 percent and same for random forest and uh, save for the svm also so in this case uh, we can uh, we can see that uh, neural network random forest and svm uh, these three classifications are uh, quite good
however from the uh, precision uh from the e from the precision uh, also same results uh, declares and uh, when we look uh, the auc uh, the model fitting uh, we can see that uh, the svm and neural network is quite good uh, rather than the random forest here uh, you can also see that uh, logistic regression is uh, quite good but uh, his model accuracy is uh, low or rather than the other three models in this way uh, we can uh, predict our uh, data set and we can uh, say that uh, which uh, which model is based or uh, which model we can employ uh, to predict our customer satisfaction now we can uh, also test our models using uh, test and score just uh, input the models uh, that we uh, included here you can see uh, the random forest model accuracy uh, is quite 87.7 percent uh, for the training data set and we will input uh, all the uh, classification models uh, So you can see that uh, we just uh, employed five uh, classification model uh, of machine learning and to test uh, the uh, model uh, model accuracy or uh, to evaluate the model. Now uh, you can see that our uh, model accuracy is uh, quite better in the case of uh, svm uh, in the training data set you can see that uh, the training data set uh, model accuracy is 89.1 uh, percent and the model accuracy also uh, precision also uh, better it is uh, near to the 90 percent so in the in that way uh, we can uh, build our uh, model and we can also predict our customer satisfaction uh, basically uh, which customer will be satisfied or not and uh, which which uh, variable is mostly uh, influencing in this case okay guys thank you